Hi, Flappy Catters. Today we're doing the final product review video for the Pet Stages Nina Audison Cat Puzzle Toys, which are stacked neatly here right now. This is the Buggin' Out, because obviously it looks like a leaf with ladybugs. This is the Melon Madness, which we need to get out of the box. This is the Rainy Day Puzzle. Out of all of these, I have used the Rainy Day Puzzle the most because Charlie is an advanced puzzle treat cat. <laughs> I was trying to say that like all snooty as if he was superior in some reason, but he's not. But he needs a challenge. So this is the most challenging of all of them. The Bugging Out seems to be the most popular and the Melon Madness is about the same level as the Bugging Out. So the reason that this one is more challenging, he's still trying to smell my finger or rub his pheromone on him on my fingers, is because of this and how it turns because they have to turn it in order to access each little section. There's a, like a little piece of food up there. And then obviously, you know, you can drop the treat in there and then they move that. So this one, has these little turny things and these slider things. And so does this one. And then the Melon Madness does as well. So if you see these in the store, you'll notice that the skill level is a two on the Melon Madness, a two on the Buggin' Out, and a three for the Rainy Day Puzzle and Play. And I have caught this one who doesn't get a lot of chances to mess around with cat puzzle toys trying to get food out of the bugging out in the rainy day. Like I said, I really haven't had this one out. I lo love the colors and the watermelon and stuff, but they're just, I mean, they're more or less pretty much the same. This one is a little bit cooler though, because you can put these like that so that it's a little extra challenge to get the stuff. Web? Fink, can you want me to fill that up? So the benefits of cat puzzle toys or puzzle toys in general, we actually started out with puzzle toys with Charlie with Nina Audison has dog puzzle toys and Charlie's favorite one is the dog brick. And that's the one that I have tooted for years and the one that is included in my favorite products video, which is not sponsored and I'm working on again. I just want you guys to know exactly what my favorite products are and that dog brick is included in it. The benefit though to these cat puzzles is that cat owners will be exposed to the potential benefits of cat puzzle toys, which is really a cool thing because, you know, if I'm a cat owner and I go into a pet store, I'm probably not gonna go down in the dog aisles unless I have a dog or unless I have a friend that has a dog and I wanna get them a gift or something. But usually cat owners aren't going to go down the dog aisles. So this allows a store to put something different in the cat aisles that isn't very commonplace. And the reason why cat puzzle toys are so great is because it helps them play, hunt, etc. And cats have a routine of playing, hunting, playing slash hunting, then eating, then grooming, then sleeping. So this helps them get the natural activity that's in them to hunt and play. So as you can see, it says, it's great for curious cats, stimulates natural foraging instincts. Now I have typically used these for treats only. I don't feed my cats dry food on a regular basis, except for Charlie, because he won't eat wet food unless I give him two tablespoons of dry food a day. So I have been putting some dry food in these um, when necessary, or, you know, just to test them out and make sure we're product reviewing them. My favorite thing to put in these are whole life just one freeze dried pet treats. And you guys know that that's <laughs> pretty commonplace. Now these are very much designed for kibble, like where you would drop kibble in there. They aren't um, as designed for freeze dried treats unless the freeze dried treats are like perfectly formed into little round pieces. So I will take a freeze dried treat I put one in there already and just drop it in there and push it on top. Now, if it doesn't go in, 
I'll switch it to a smaller piece. And put one in the melon madness. If it's small enough, <laughs> then I will just, you know, put it in there. But usually I have to break up the whole life because they come in bigger chunks. He gets them so fast now that it's hard to get it recorded. Anyway, there was a reader who submitted a photo of her cat going after one of the treats. She bought the buggy knot puzzle toy and her cat was really liking it and going after it. It just adds extra stimulation. I've talked about this before in cat puzzle treat toys videos that if you work all day for example or when i've taken care of my sister's cats and you know the dog is at the you know boarding place but the cats are home alone and my and my sister and my brother-in-law are not there like right now they're not there because they had just had a baby and so the cats are home alone and i've been checking on them twice a day i will fill up a nina austin dog puzzle full of whole life treats. I use turkey with them because Addie has to have turkey. And then leave it. So I feed them, say hi to them, clean their litter box. I end up leaving this one called the dog tornado completely full so that by morning they've had something to do and something to hunt for. And it is always empty when I come the next day. You can see how Charlie's. How you get that one out? You see I was turning that? But see how he doesn't like figure it out the first time. So he'll come back to that out of interest and come back and get it. Um, he just uses claw there to pull that out. So if you have a cat sitter, if you're gone a lot, or if you, you know, are like a firefighter on a shift or something like that, this is a great thing to just like load up and set down and have your cat have something to do while you're gone is one of the reasons I love it. Or if you're gone at work all day, you can fill it up, set it down, these ones are a little bit, if you have a cat and dog, like my sister's dog Tato tore this off like very easily. There was a dog one that they came out with that had a similar design and he just like got so aggressive with it that he tore that off. He's a German short haired pointer. So it would just depend on like the size of the dog. I think if they could tear that off or not, my cats aren't destructive with the puzzle toys, but Obviously, when you first get it, you want to supervise their play and make sure that they're not going to be aggressive and, you know, this isn't going to pop off or anything like that. Only because if it, it cracked or something and they swallowed it, then that, but my cats wouldn't do that. I know they wouldn't, and I would think most cats wouldn't do that. That is all I have to say about the Nina Audison Pet Stages Cat Puzzle Toys. Look at my little love bug. I'm just going to turn this one, see if I can find something in the ears. All right, guys, I will include a link in the about section below to where you can buy these online if you're interested. This is what when a non-dominant cat has a chance to, like, figure out a puzzle toy. It's so stinking cute. He's so <laughs> stinking cute. I get that one. I get that one. I think he would have mastered these a long time ago if Charlie would have, you know, let him. I'm going to let him smell it, and then I'm going to turn it back. No, you got to get it. Open it up. How you get that? Get that one. Get that one. Get that one. He's going to get it. Get it, Gowie. Oh, God. <laughs> you went too far. Gowie. Look, it like matches him. The puzzle matches like his eyes and his fur. That's so funny. I think puzzle toys are awesome. I love them for indoor cats who don't get a lot of stimulation other than, you know, just what happens in the house. So I think that they're a great asset to any cat household that, you know, wants to live in harmony and stuff. Let me try this again. I want them to be rewarded for it. Also, kids, kids love to do stuff like this, like fill it up and watch the cat figure it out and help the cat figure it out. So I think it, they're really just fun. <laughs> you took it too far. You gotta do it again. Hey, did you give up? 
I will leave these out though after I finish doing this film, filming and um, he'll figure it out. Oh, they're also very easy to wash off. Like if you, I think you could technically could put wet food in them. I just would worry about like it getting up into those nooks and crannies and stuff and then it being kind of yucky to so you could unscrew it though if you wanted to. So there's that possibility. See, it does have rubber feet that would prevent it. It prevents it from moving it around. All right, guys, if you're still watching at this point, please give this video a like by hitting on that thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. We'll see you next time.